Here's another video in my Magic Windows series, which is a neat trick that has a lot of possibilities. The premise is that you have two similar images, such as the ones here, layered on top of each other. I, of course, use the flower as part of the intro, and the top image is cropped in one way on slide one, and then cropped in a different way on slide two, and there's a morph transition between the slides. So the result is this sliding crop effect, or what I call the magic window, which I previewed in my first tutorial about it, but today I'll showcase the color slide version of the trick as you saw in the intro. For this, you have a black and white image first, then put a color version of the image on top of it. You can play with the colors in the picture format, color menu. At this point, we crop and format the top color image so that the end result looks the way that you want it to. I'm actually going to crop outside of the image here at the top and bottom so we don't see the outline in those areas. This will form where our magic window ends. Now that it's where we want it, we then duplicate the slide, so Control D. Now we go back to slide one and we put the magic window where we want it to start, which in my case is off to the left side of the slide. To add a bit of additional flair, I made the slide one magic window smaller so that it enlarges as it slides over to its end position on the second slide. Okay, so as a final step, we add a morph transition to the second slide. And here's what you get. I did the same thing on the flower example too. And if you're wondering how I got it to go outside of the bounds of the frame, I simply added a third flower layer on top from which I removed the background. So it's just these flower petals showing. This doesn't have an animation, but simply starts off on top of this slide and then fades in as part of the morph transition. So you get this gradual pop out that you see here. And that is it, really simple to do actually, and it's a great way to make an eye-catching and beautiful cover slide to, to grab your audience's attention right from the start. Well, hope you enjoyed, and if you haven't seen my very first video on this, definitely check it out because it has a lot more uses of this shown, and I'll continue to post videos about this trick in the future, but they're all essentially the same concept, just different applications of it. I also have a few very different ideas in the works as well. Well, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos, and keep it spicy till the next one.